Hey guys, so this is definitely not an off-road test or anything of the uh, Transalp 750. Just a quick little uh, scoot around the streets, just to uh, just to give you guys a bit of an idea what I think of this thing compared to the T7. It's definitely a lively mode of this uh, 750. I'm not sure what CCs it is exactly, but uh, yeah, it's, it's got some go. Nothing, yeah, you know, nothing spectacularly better than the, uh, the the T7. But yeah, Lee, the uh, the owner of this Transalp, actually had a T7 and switched it out for this one, um, mostly because of the the top heavy top heaviness of the T7, I guess. Um, that's pretty much what he said. Oh yeah, she's um she's a little goer of a motor, that's for sure. Yeah, obviously I'm not going to go into the, the rider modes and all that stuff. I know this bike's a little bit more sort of technical, technically orientated than the uh, the T7. It's got a, a few more electronic aids and all that sort of stuff, which uh, you know I'm not going to be bothering with because I don't like that stuff anyway. But um, yeah, it, just riding it, like it definitely feels lower. Like the, the front of the T7, because it looks like it's got that rally stance, the whole tower and everything of the bike has that you know it's really quite high in front of you whereas this is uh, a lot sort of lower and more dirt bikey I mean it's not dirt bikey it's a big big bloody twin but you know you know what I mean you can definitely see over the front a lot easier yeah, she, yeah she's pretty smooth no vibes to speak of really it's, um, it seems to be quite well behaved. It's got the street tyres, the stock tyres on it. But yeah, no quick shifter stock. I don't know if they can add one as an accessory or not, but um, yeah, no quick shifter at the moment. Yeah, the brakes are really good. Rear brakes, rear brakes better than the T7 straight off the bat. Seating positions are quite nice. I feel like the bars are low, so standing up would be, yeah, standing up, I'm sort of stretching my arms down, but if you know, you get into the attack position, it's fine. Um, it's got those rubber foot pegs, which I'm not a fan of, but, uh, yeah, like, on the whole, it's pretty comfortable. So, we're cruising at around 100k an hour, and the engine's sitting just under 4,000 RPM. fairly economical I'd say. The wind protection is quite good too, like uh, yeah not a lot of buffeting here so there's a little bit but um, I'd say it's less than the T7. Yeah so it's doing quite a good job of shooting that wind right up over my helmet. Yeah very comfortable cruiser this one. Seats, uh, seats not bad at all. So, yeah, it's quite good on the road. I think these have the uh, the cross plane 270 degree crank uh, engine, the same as the T7. So it's got that that nice sound to it. Definitely needs a uh, an aftermarket pipe though if you if you want to go that way. Yeah, the uh, the suspension feels uh, actually you know it's not as plush as I was expecting. I, I thought uh, maybe it would be in a really quite soft. Yeah, I'll be interested to test one out for sure. Alright, there she is, guys, in all her glory, the mighty. Transalp 750 brand spanking new I believe uh, Lee's only just ridden this home basically from the dealer so it's got nothing done to it aside from the SRC Adventure Moto upper lower crash bars and bash plate that I've uh, just installed on it so um, there'll be a link in the description guys if you want to check out the uh, SRC stuff if you are thinking about grabbing yourself one of these bikes very good uh, solid crash bars very well mounted Great protection, well built, um, they look pretty cool. Uh, yeah. There you have it.
have it. So I'm not going to go into the, the detailed specs or anything of this bike, guys. Basically, you can look that information up very easily on the internet. Uh, I'm just uh, giving you some of my first impressions and giving you a bit of a look at the beast. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for watching. Short little video this one. Catch you soon. Cheers.